Okay, today we're going to cover a use case where we're going to create a report that shows you the composure of priorities within your changes based on risk. And we're going to use a clustered column graph um, as we get here into the more intermediate level techniques with uh, North Graph Analytics. We're doing it for the ServiceNow change management products. So um, we're in the Excel interface here. Again, you can use the dashboard interface, executive dashboard interface, operational, web-based ad hoc reporting, dynamic report suite, or the uh, Excel-based ad hoc reporting. All of them connecting to our uh, whole app-based uh, database. So we're going to begin with a metric. Again, just to review, we have our metrics organized in folders based on the type of metric it is. The key performance indicators for each process area are dimensions then at the bottom, including uh, the dimensions for the uh, subject matter area we're looking at, time dimension, et cetera, related dimensions. Uh, an example of a related dimension and really quickly might be something like configuration management, so obviously uh, related PI based on that change. Okay, but today we're going to start with our metric of changes closed, okay, so we have 4,000. This is across all time, no filter whatsoever at this point. And then we're going to choose our hierarchy of risk, okay? Um, we have high, low, and medium. We might want to choose an additional one for critical. Uh, I'll add that into our ServiceNow data model. These are, generally speaking, the out-of-the-box uh, values. And you'll notice this gives you the capability to drill down, okay? And when we're drilling down here, just to look at the hierarchy, that's risk, impact, and number. So you understand the fields in ServiceNow that we're using in our hierarchy. Okay, well, we're going to drill back to the beginning there, and we're going to now show these uh, high-risk changes uh, by priority, just to see if the priorities are lining up with the risks that we've defined, which generally speaking, they should. Okay, so we're going into our uh, folders of the different fields within ServiceNow. We'll open up the classification folder. That's where we're going to find our priority field. And we're going to dra drag it into the top right-hand uh, pivot quadrant here, columns. Um, now that will show the priority associated with the risk. So these, again, should kind of match up. And to visualize this data, I'm going to insert a pivot chart. Okay? So we'll choose our pivot chart, and again, we're going to make it a clustered column graph here. There we go. It's pretty simple. And now we can see how that data lines up. Um, you'll notice why we keep it summary level here, um, because if you drill down these pivot charts here, it can kind of become a mess. Um, so for our report, to keep it clean, we'll, we'll do that. And uh, let me sort these also. kind of look we want to see. So there we go. Um, we can now view a report that shows you by risk here on the bottom, okay, high, low, medium, and then the composure of priority within those. You could do a number of different things as well. You could do this uh, via business service. That actually might be a little bit more valuable. They have that information in my data set. might actually like to see um, risk level and then the business service uh, that's associated with it. So many different things you can use the clustered column for. Um, but uh, basically it has the same impact as the pie, but with the ability to look at additional data sets and security to it. Um, I might also want to add some data labels here that uh, indicate exactly what the series is made of. Uh, so there's a, then this is low, and that's the data low priority data we'll call that, and low risk. Um, now what I might wonder is, you know, why do we have, um, why do we have here, for example, priority of uh, low within our uh, low risk, or, or why do I have, excuse me, medium or high within our uh, low risk um, series? So uh, 
couple of tips and tricks in building a cluster column. If you have any questions, let us know.